Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to start with a new topic that is clutch, the function and working. So, in day-to-day -day life, we are aware about the working of a clutch. So, normally we use a clutch when we want to change the gears. So, what is a clutch basically? So, you can see in this diagram, clutch is placed in between the engine and the gearbox. So, we'll discuss what is a clutch and their basic functions and working. So, clutch is a machine element which is used to connect driving shaft with driven shaft as and when required without stopping the driving shaft means without stopping input driving shaft when we want to connect and disconnect these two shafts we use a clutch as a device so it is a device which frequently connect and disconnect two shaft from engine and gearbox that is input and output shaft so let's start with basics of clutch Clutch is a mechanism which actually transmits the torque or power from driving shaft to the coincident driven shaft at the need of operator without stopping that is driving shaft. The main difference between the clutch and the coupling is when clutch is engaged or disengaged at the need of operator whereas coupling is a fixed connection between the two shaft that is a driving and driven shaft means we can say Clutch provides frequent connection and disconnection for driving and driven shaft whereas coupling provide permanent connection for two shaft. Then what is basic functions of clutch? Clutch is engaged. The clutch transmit maximum power from engine crankshaft to the gearbox input shaft. So basically clutches are engaged when the clutch are in engaged position means clutch is in connected position clutch transmit the power from engine to the output shaft that is gearbox shaft. When clutch is in engaged condition clutch accommodates minor slippage and so provides the smooth drive transmission without jerk that means we can say Clutch provides smooth takeoff of vehicle from the rest. So these are common basics functions of clutches. In short, I can again summarize. Clutch is disengaged when the clutch is not connected. Clutch allows operator to change the transmission gear that we normally say. For changing the gear, we can use a clutch. That means clutch is in disengaged condition. Then there are two types of clutches as you can see this diagram positive type jaw clutch. So this is not part of our syllabus or not a discussion part. So as of basics I am just drawing this diagram over here. Positive clutch. These clutches are used when positive drives are required means no slippage of clutch. So it can't be engaged at high speed. As you can see the jaws for this clutch. So that's why they are not suitable for high speed applications. Engagement in this positive type jaw clutches are always with the shocks and jerk so with the noise so that's why they are used in some machine tools power presses punches where frequent engage disengage of clutch is not required so these clutches as you can see this diagram here you can observe this clutch jaws as because of this nature of this jaw they are not suitable for high speed application they are having specific applications where as we discuss machine tools and power presses where frequent engage and disengagement is not required so we'll focus now on most important part of our discussion that is single plate clutch that is a type of friction clutch so in this friction is a basic parameter to transmit power so before we start with the friction clutch, we'll discuss some few things about friction, single plate friction clutch. The torque or power transmitting capacity of friction clutch is proportional to coefficient of friction between the contacting surfaces. That means as here you can see a sing single plate clutch a diagram, some parts. So here we can see this flywheel clutch plate having damper spring, pressure plate and diaphragm spring. So 
with this constructional details of flywheel clutch plate this normally this part as clutch plate is having the frictional material so this is uh, this clutch plate is also called as friction plate so always remember clutch plate that simply means a friction plate which is mounted on driven side whereas this is a pressure plate and this part is what the diaphragm spring which provides a spring action for a clutch now flywheel it is on a driving side driving this is as a flywheel is a heavy mask or disc bolted on engine crankshaft that is a driving shaft so always flywheel is mounted on driving side it has a flat surface that engages with friction plate so you can see on this with on other side this face is a flat surface and that flat face of the flywheel engages the friction plate or clutch plate clutch plate is called as a friction plate which is having a frictional lining on it and it is free to slide axially on spline driven shaft friction lining is made up of means a friction material used in case of clutch is oven asbestos which is very common it is either riveted or pasted on clutch plate so very common on this clutch disc we have asbestos which is riveted or pasted we may have helical compression spring or diaphragm spring which provides a spring action or exerts axial force on the driven plate or clutch plate last one clutch pedal lever and disengagement sleeve which are used for disengagement of clutch these are constructional feature for single plate clutch now we'll discuss a working of a clutch so this is a diagram which indicates a uh, working of single plate clutch so in this diagram you can observe a flywheel a pressure plate and the clutch plate like a friction plate so simple in a two point we can discuss the function and working of a single plate friction clutch so normally when the clutch is in engaged position so i'll just see so here you can observe right now there is a small gap is present in between this flywheel and friction plate so that means it is in disengaged condition so when you are going to press this lever against this spring action this friction plate at the two surfaces will engage with the flywheel and friction between these faces surfaces between the flywheel and friction plate is the reason to transmit the power so yes you can observe once again when normally when we press this lever we disengage the flywheel from the friction plate that means we can change the gears at normal power transmission condition these are engaged position that means the friction plate is engaged against the flywheel with the help of pressure plate so working very simple normally the clutch is in engaged position due to spring force hence the torque and power is transmitted from driving side that is from flywheel to the driven that is to the friction plate because of frictional forces whereas when clutch pedal is pressed means when you want to change the gears change to speeds we are going to press this lever or pedal so when you are going to press the pedal against spring force due to this clutch will disengage that means friction plate will disengage from the flywheel and there is no torque or power transmission takes place from driving side that is crankshaft to the driven side that is output so this is a simple two point working for single plate clutch 
so here you need to know on driving side there is a flywheel on driven side a friction plate that is a clutch plate is attached having frictional material and diaphragm spring provides a spring action so this is a working of single plate clutch now why single plate clutches are called as a dry clutch normally these clutches are used as the space available is more in case of heavy duty vehicles this friction clutches single plate clutches are used for truck buses tractors when we have large radial space so that large radial space so we don't have a constraint of space so we normally have friction plate size comparatively large so that we can easily accommodate the single plate clutch on the transmission line so they are called as dry clutch because friction generates heat and that heat is dissipated to surrounding without any external cooling or it does not require any oil to cool or to maintain the temperature of clutch hence the name dry clutch whereas multi plate clutches are very common in automobiles where we have a very compact clutch so because of large friction heat generator is enormous and we need to provide oils for maintaining the temperature of a clutch plate so that becomes the clutch weight hence multi plate clutches are called as weight clutch whereas single plate clutch is a dry clutch as they are used when we have a large radial space so that's why single plate clutches are used in case of tractors bus car and the trucks so hence the name dry clutch i hope it is clear to understand the function working and application of this clutch thank you